praise the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you for bringing us again in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you all. I welcome you all, beloved. I welcome you, my sisters, my brother. My brothers, I welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. He's mighty. He says, and let his wonder. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. It's the one. It's, it's, it's great. Almighty God. We serve a mighty God. We bless the We bless his soul in the no beloved. Uh, we went to bed last night. Uh, we thank God. We woke up. God woke us up to see another day. There's many people that went to, to bed last night. They didn't wake up this morning. It's not because me and you, we are better than they. Just because of the grace of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us have a word of prayer. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Let us have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord, the Asians of this. Father, you are worthy. You are mighty. You are excellent. You are wonderful, Father. And I will thank you for this precious our Father, the mighty God that you have given to us to, to sit at your feet, to hear from you. We appreciate you. We thank you for all you have been doing in our lives. We thank you for what you're still doing. We thank you for what you see about to do. Thank you for your bringing us again this hour to sit at your feet. Almighty God, Father, feed us, Almighty God, with your word. And in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, in any way that we're sinning against you, we repent, O Lord. Wash us, cleanse us, and purify us, O Lord. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you without you. We cannot do nothing. Holy Spirit of God, I decree you increase in me in Jesus name. Use my mouth to be a man, the mouth of your peace. Use this word to win souls to your kingdom, Holy Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I depend on you. I have nothing on my own. It's you I depend on Almighty God. You send me. I'm here for you, Lord. Father, choose me for the purpose that you created. You send me for, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I love you and I bless you. Almighty God, Cover myself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cover each and every one of us with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ in the Facebook. I plead the blood of Jesus in the line. I plead the blood of all who this one and this on the air, on the sea, on the on the, on the air, on the land, on the sea, on the sea. And I cover my environment with the blood of Jesus, my house with the blood of Jesus, my children, my husband with the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood, precious blood of the name of God with your your word, Almighty God, that you will hear. I soak in the precious blood of the name of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We like to sing to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. Unto the Lord do I lift up my soul unto the Lord. Do I lift up my soul? Oh, my God, I trust in thee. Do not let me be ashamed. Don't let my enemy triumph over me. Unto the Lord, do I lift up my soul on? Unto you, Lord, do I lift up my soul? Oh, my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let no my enemies triumph over me. Oh, unto the Lord, do I lift up my soul? Unto the Lord, do I lift up my soul? Oh, my God, I trust in Him. Lord, let my enemy not let none. Lord, not let not my enemies triumph over me. Oh, to the Lord, do I lift up my soul? Lord? Unto the Lord, do I lift up my soul? Oh, my God, I trust in thee. Let 
Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Unto Almighty God, who you are now, lift up our soul. We bless the name of the Lord, His word. His mighty, His excellent, He said, Wonderful, wonderful, great, and the excellent, and the wonderful, excellent, daddy. We bless the name of the Lord, we bless the name of the Lord, we bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord bless you. We bless the name of the Lord. Oh, praise Master Jesus. I plead the blood of just guy my turn. And, oh, my dear. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. I soak my internet to the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise Master Jesus. Beloved, you are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you all. We bless the name of the Lord. I thank God for today. The message of today, beloved, Hallelujah. The topic of today, <laughs> hardened, hardness, sorry, hardness of heart. Hardness of heart. Beloved, we are going to talk about hardness of heart. We are going to see the word of the Lord. We are going to see the people that was their heart was hardened towards Almighty God. We are going to see what's, what, 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 what happened to them for us to have a hardened heart. Hardness of heart. God creates you, God creates me to love him. With all our heart, with all our soul, with all our might, with all our strength. He didn't create us for draws to be hiding unto him. When he tell you, yeah, when he tell you go, you said, No, I don't want to go. I want to remain here. You don't have to tell me anything. No. Beloved, you are now. If you if you're in that age, you have your children, you know. When you send your children something, you might send them message to go to, to do something to you, to do something for you, help you. If that if that child is giving you stories, are you happy about it? If that child is you telling the, the child, take this cup out of this table, or this table right, this dining, I want you to take this cup right now, go and put it in the kitchen. That we, the child is telling you, no, I don't want to do it now. I do it later. He wants his own, his own way to be done. Not your way that you told him to do. Or you command him, take this thing out, put it in the other place. He's telling you, no, I don't want to do it now. I do it later. You are not. God don't want us to be hiding unto him. Don't, don't, he doesn't want our heart to be hiding unto him. He loves you. Jesus loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much. When he tells us to do something, let us do it. You read the word of the Lord. That is the menu of life he has given to you and I. You read the word of the Lord. Obey. Not said I will do it later. You said you are, you are going to do it later. That means it's disobedient. Partial, the partial obedience is disobedient to God. Praise Master Jesus. Oh, you are doing something. You are doing something for the Lord. You are doing something in the fine hand of God. You know you are not doing it with a perfect heart. We are going to see that we are going to see that the, the king that did something with not his heart was not perfect with God, but he did. What is what was right? He did what was right, but his heart was not. This right was not with God. 
was not perfect with God, but he did what is what right. Like many of us, we are doing what is right, but our heart is not there. You are doing good to people. The people clapping, clapping their hand for you that you 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 are you are doing something good, but your heart is not. You are not doing it with a perfect heart. Why do you do what you do? Why do you do what you do? The, the right thing you are doing, why do you do it? Is it a perfect heart? You are doing it with a perfect heart? To please God or to please yourself or to please man? Which one? Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Please let us go to the word of the Lord. In a... Uh, the book of praise master jesus the book the book of uh, second chronicles let us go to the book of second chronicles praise master jesus hallelujah hallelujah to the lamb of god second chronicles chapter 25 verse hallelujah we start from two i will read two after reading two then i will start from there from a 14 to 15. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. This king, Amaziah, Amaziah, he was the king of Judah. The king of Judah. I read in Jesus' name. And he did that what was right in the sight of the Lord. But, comma, he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, but, but not with a perfect heart. He did what was right with the, in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. Beloved, not with a perfect, a perfect heart. Anything you and I, we are doing for God, and let us do it with a perfect heart, beloved. Let this go, let it, let this go, let it, that, that, that thing that you are doing for the Lord, let us do it with a perfect heart. Let it come, come out of from our, our, our whole hearts, from depth of our hearts, with a perfect heart. Praise Master Jesus. Because this man, this king, God was with him. He did what was right in the in the sight of the Lord, but his, his heart was not perfect with God. Amaziah. I will start from. I said I will start from fourteen before. Let me start from a from a seven uh, seven. Praise Master Jesus, Hallelujah. But a day that came a, a, a man of a God to Nehem. Saying, O oh, king, let not the army of Israel go with a deep. And from the Lord is for the Lord is, is not with Israel to wait with all the, the children of Ephraim. But if thou win a go, then it do it, being a strong for the battle. God shall make a deep fall before the enemy. For God has the power to help and to cast it down. And Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall a winner do for their hundred talents, which I have given to the army of Israel? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give thee much more than this. Then Amaziah separated them, to the wheat the army that was uh, come to him out of uh, Ephraim. Ephraim. To uh, go home again. Wherefore, uh, their, wherefore their anger was uh, greatly kindled against uh, Judah. And uh, they returned home in a uh, greater uh, anger. And uh, Amaziah strengthened himself and uh, led uh, forth his uh, people. And they went to the valley of a salt, and the smarter of their children of a side, ten a thousand. And the other ten thousand left, left alive 
did that the children of a Judah carried away captive and they brought them on onto the top of the rock and they cast them down from there from from the top of the rock that a day or when they broken in pieces but that the soldiers of the army of the army which Amazel sent home that they should not go with him to the battle fell upon the cities of Judah from Samaria even unto the battle and they smoted three thousand of a, of a them and took a much spoil. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It took much spread. God was with him. God sent that this man, he this man, this king, God sent a man of God. God sent a man of God. Go to my go to the king of a Judah. Go and tell him. Don't go with the with the troop you the, the troops of a of a of a of a Israelite that you have hired. He has you have hired. Don't go with them because I am not with them. The Almighty God told this the man, the man of God, his servant, go and tell this king, don't go with the the the, the, the troops or the the, the 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 army of Israel. Don't go with them with the battle. Don't go. Because I'm not with them. Why? Because they were worshiping idols. They were worshiping idols. Oh, God was not with the children of Israel by them. He said, don't go with them. If you go with them, that means if you go with them, you are going on your own. You are doing it on your own and you will be, you, you, the, that battle, you will be defeated. Your enemy will fall before your enemies. As 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 God as God told the, the servant of God, then as God told the servant, his servant went and told the to, told the king, oh king, don't go with them. Don't go with them. The man of in the the own the, the, the Amaziah the king, I thank God he obeyed. You know, he said he did. You can see he did what is right in the sight of God, but his heart was not perfect. With God. Father God sent his servant to go and tell the, the king. And the king had, and the king gave up uh, the, 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 what is it called, the, 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 the armies of uh, Israel. He told them to go, not to go, with, not to go with him to the battle. And those children of Israel, they were really angry. They were really furious. They were really angry. Why? Because they have their own, uh, they have their own, they want, and they have their own mind. They want to, to collect some spoils, but in the, in, the, in the battle. But God knows their heart. God knows their heart. He said, King, don't go with them. Because I'm not with them. I'm not with the, the army of Israel. Don't go with them. And the king heard it. And the king did what, what God said. And the king, and the king asked, uh, what is he called? Asked, uh, the the um, as, uh, as, uh, and the king told the the man of God, he said, "All this money that I have spent, the hundred uh, talents that I have spent, how am I going to re how am I going to get it back? How am I going to receive? How am I going to receive back? Uh, they will not pay me. How am I going to get that hundred talent back? That money that I have paid, how am I going to get it back?" So the servant of God said, uh, "Don't worry, you serve a living God." That God Almighty is able to give you more than that, to give you more than what you have spent. Almighty God. And he heard it. He did. He did what Father God said he should do. I praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He did. He told them to leave. And they did. And they left. And they left. But his heart is not perfect with God. He obeyed in some area, but his heart is not perfect with God. Had he had. Had he had, we, you and I, we should not be hiding unto Almighty God. Let our heart be soft to him. Let us, we are still reading. We are talking about the king uh, Amaz, uh, Amaz, uh, Amaziah. In, in, now we are starting from, uh, from uh, verse uh, 14 to 16 and see what the king did. 
Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. Now it came to pass after that a Hamaziah was a come from a dead slaughter of a dead, uh, of the Edomite. Came from the Edomite. That uh, he brought uh, the gods of uh, the children of a side and uh, set uh, them up to hmm, to the being uh, his uh, God and uh, bow down him, <laughs> himself before the, them and the born incense unto the praise master Jesus. Hallelujah. His heart was not perfect with God. His heart was not perfect with God. 15. Therefore, the anger of the Lord was a kingdom against Amaziah, and he sent unto him a prophet, which said unto him, Why has a thou sought after the gods of the people? Which I could not deliver, hmm, which could not deliver their own people out of their hands. And it came to pass as he talked with him that he and that the king said unto him, At thou made of, of, of the king's council. Forbid, why should they say thou be the smitten? Then the dead prophet be, then the prophet for, forbid and they said, I know that God has determined to destroy thee, because thou has done this, and has not has not hearkened unto my counsel. He has not uh, hearkened unto the counsel of the Lord. He did. He did what, he, what was right in the sight of the Lord, but his heart was not perfect with God. He, he, ha, he has a biased mind. A biased mind with God. You are now, we shall not have a, a biased mind with God. And God told him, and he, do, and he, did, what he, uh, and he did what God said, and they drop those people, and they drop those uh, those uh, troops of uh, of uh, of, uh, of uh, Israelites, the army. He drops them, but the next thing, what he did, the worst thing, the worst thing he could have done. Now he fought the battle. Now he won the battle. As soon as he won the battle, he left ten thousand people. He left and took them alone, and they, they took them to the top of the of the of the of the, of the rocks and threw them down. And they were breaking. They were sorry. They were broken in pieces. They were broken pieces. Instead of him, okay, instead of him to leave those people, that prisoner that he, he kept, and uh, threw the ghost and he went and uh, took the ghost. He took their ghost, their idols. He took their idols and brought them to his slave and uh, set a place for them and said, uh, bow down to them. And start worshiping them. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what this man, the, his mind, his heart was hardened unto the Lord. Upon now, he saw the goodness of God. God fought the battle for him, and he won the battle. The next thing he's rewarding God, he's rewarding God with evil. He said the feet to bad and worship God that sent him to the battle and he won the battle. No, he came, he brought the God, the God which can which could do able to save their people. He brought those gods and sent them, he said, bow down and worshiping them. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? You went on a battle. Those people you won, you fought the battle, you fought the battle, you won the battle. They are gods, they are, they are idols that they are worshiping. He couldn't able they, that idol couldn't able to they deliver them from your own hand, King uh, King uh, Amaza, Amaz, Amazia. The, the idols couldn't able to deliver their people from your hand. 
Now you went back, you went and took their idols that couldn't, which couldn't able to deliver their people from your hand. You took them now, you brought them and bowed down, you worshiping them. You said, they are your idol, they are your gods. They are your gods. What can I can imagine? What what what's wrong with this man? It's because of that the first in the, in the in the verse two he said he did he, he did what he, he did what was right, but his heart was not with God. Now you can see that his heart was not with God. He did. God said, "Don't take them and don't take the troop of Israel along, the armies of Israel. Don't take them along. Leave them aside." He did. But the next thing is to pay God with evil. Instead of him to come and glorify God, instead of him to come and worship God, he brought us the idols, he brought us gods, and said then that the God who the God who is couldn't able to deliver his people. Beloved, are you dead? What 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 is it? What what is your God? What is what are you bowed down to? What are you bowed down to? God has delivered you from the kingdom of darkness. God has brought you from the from his from, from the kingdom of darkness to his marvelous light. But you are still there. You said you love God. You said you love God, but you are disobeying God. God said, Don't worship, don't bow down to any image. You are still bowed down to images. What is that God? What is that thing that is God in your life, beloved? What is that thing that is God in your life? Is it money? Money is good to have, but don't make it as your God. Is it God and silver? You are bow yourself, your, your, your head to worshiping. You cannot do without God. You cannot do without silver. Packing them on your body. When God said your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. This man did what was right in the sight of the Lord, but his heart was not with God. You said your heart, your heart, your heart is clean. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You may the Lord bless you. You said your heart is clean, but the thing that is coming out of your heart, your heart, your your deed, your deed. You said your heart is clean. You lie anyhow. How is it your clean heart is clean? The heart is the one that matter. You fornicate. How is the heart that matter? May the Lord bless you. How is it matter that the heart that you said that is matter is there the fornication is coming out from? Is there abortion? You want you said you are a child of God, you are still aborting. You are still killing innocent people, and you are going there, they are going to the house of the Lord. You sing it, hallelujah. You sing it, you speak the choir master, the choir mistress. You are killing the innocent the children of me, innocent children. And you said, it's the heart that matters. Yes. The heart matters, but what comes out of your heart? What is coming out of your heart as God delivered this king and his people from the hand of the enemy? And he came and he started worshiping. He took those gods and then set them and started worshiping them. God has delivered you. God has delivered you from that sin. Now you went back again, even deeper than the one you knew. God dropped you and God pulled you out from. And you said you love God. And you said you are doing something in the house of the Lord, but you know with a perfect heart, with a disobedient heart, killing the children of God, innocent children, mistreating people. You mistreated them because you wanted your man, you used them as a martyrs to get money from you, to get your land, your, your living from you. May the Lord bless you. Please, if you said God has called you. Walk with a perfect heart. This man, this king, he uh, was there as a king of Israel. So he said of him to do what is, as he's doing what is right, to let his heart to, to be perfect. No. May the Lord bless you. No, he didn't let his heart be perfect. He was there doing something else. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. How can somebody 
You went to battle. You fought the battle. God fought it for you. They are gods. They are idols. Could you able to help them? And you took that is spiritual blindness. This man was blind spiritually. This man couldn't see. He was blind spiritually. Like many Christians are blind spiritually. Many Christians are blind, blind spiritually. I have been delivered. Delivered from what, from what? What God has delivered you from? You have been delivered. You claiming you have been delivered. What God has delivered you from? He delivered you from lie. He delivered you from sin. He delivered you from, from, from any kind of evil things and bad biting. But you still go back. You went back and started doing the same thing. I started doing the same thing. And you say, call yourself a child of God. If somebody said, they asked you, are you a Christian? Ah, you don't see that I'm a Christian? My father, my mother, we are from, uh, from, from generation to generation. We are Christian. But you lie. Your heart is the one that matters. You fornicate in your mind. You keep people in your heart. You murder with your heart. Is your heart that matters? You enjoy what God is not happy with. Is your heart that matters? All those movies, all those uh, worldly music, all those evil movies, you enjoy in secret place. You talk, God doesn't see you. Lord Jesus saw you. You have to repent. You and I must repent. This man, and God loved this man so much and sent his servant to come and send his servant. The man of God came and told him. He said, how can you do this? You brought the, 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 the gods who wish could not able to save his people. You brought them. Now you set them. You set them apart. You start worshiping them. Had he had. Had he had. It was his will, his will be done, not the will of God. Instead of him to do the will of God. No, he did his own way. Packing idols, putting it in his house, worshipping them, bound down to them. Anything that you are bound down to. Anything that you are bound down to, now that you are, and it's not God. Please stop it. Ask God to have mercy upon you. God loves you. don't want to miss you. Jesus loves you. doesn't want to miss you, beloved. Please. Surrender your life to Jesus. Jesus wants you to surrender your life. Let your heart be perfect. Surrender your life to him. He loves you. He wants to spend eternity with you. If you want to make heaven, surrender to Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Let us go to the book of Psalm. The book of Psalms 95 verse 7. Verse 8. Let us go to the book of Psalms. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. 95. Psalms 95. Praise Master Jesus. Verse 8. I read in Jesus' name. Had it not your heart as in the provocation and as in the day of a temptation in the wilderness. Father God is telling you, see, the love of the Father. He's telling you, don't harden your heart when you hear his voice. He's telling you, don't do this evil. He's telling you, turn away from sin. He's telling you, repent. Don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart. Repent. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to give you the grace to turn away from evil. Ask him. Ask him. He loves you. Lord Jesus loves you. He don't want to miss you. He cares for you. You are valuable to him. Because, beloved, heaven is real. Hell fire is real. If you are now, if you are now have decided to make heaven, we must walk in the way of the Lord. We must follow the way of the Lord. We must follow his, his ways, his, his will. We must do his will. If you are not decided, we have decided to follow the Lord Almighty to the end. We must depend on him. We must rely on him. 
not our will. We must let his will be done in our lives. Praise Master Jesus. And the word of the Lord is telling you and I, don't add in your heart. This king had in his heart. He had in his heart. And he forgot all those good things that God has done for him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us go to the, the, the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs chapter, chapter 28, verse 14. The book of Proverbs 28, verse 14. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The book of Proverbs 28, 14. I read in Jesus' name. Happy is the, the man that a fear it always. But he that had in his heart shall fall into mischief. Father God, the word of the, the Lord is telling you and now. Happy is he. Happy is he. Happy, happy, happy is he. The hacking, the hacking unto the word of the Lord, the hacking unto Master Jesus, that listen to him. Happy is that person always. Happy is that person. John, he said, but he that had in his heart shall be fall into mischief. He that had in his heart shall fall into what? Mischief. God don't want you to fall into mischief. God doesn't want me to fall into mischief. Don't add you your heart, beloved. Surrender your life to Jesus. Repent. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus is coming very soon. Repent. Turn away from your wicked way, please. Lord Jesus, I want you to perish. Lord Jesus, I don't want you to perish. He wants you to spend eternity with him. Please repent. Don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart. The message of today, the topic of today, hardness of heart. Don't let your heart be hardened on towards your maker. Don't let your heart be hardened towards your master, Jesus. He loves you. Please give your life to him. If you already give, give, if you already gave your life to him, but you are still living in sin, ask him for mercy. And turn away from it. Please, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you, beloved. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us go to the book of Isaiah. Praise Master Jesus. Isaiah. Praise Master Jesus. Now, let's go to, we are seeing the book, Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. In Proverbs, let's go, in, in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 1. I read in Jesus' name. He that have been of often have reproved, reproved had in his heart shall the suddenly be destroyed and that without a remedy hmm. praise master jesus praise master jesus praise the everlasting father awesome daddy marvelous daddy we bless the name of the lord he's worthy beloved you and i we can hear what the lord the word of the lord is telling you and i that as you are hearing the word of the Lord, you are hearing the word of the Lord. Please listen to the word of the Lord. Listen to your maker. Listen to your maker now. Now is the day. Listen to him. Is the day now. Listen to you. Don't hide in your heart. Don't hide in your neck that you don't want to change. You don't have it in your name, please. Come to him asking for mercy. He's here to deliver you, please. As the word of the Lord says here, here he said, Shall that suddenly, suddenly, hmm, shall that suddenly be a destroyed and that the end that without remedy, without remedy will not be your portion. 
It will not be my passion. It will not be your passion that the, that the enemy that the enemy may cause to, to, to disobey God so much on that day. God will say, I don't know you. God will say, depart from me. You walk out of iniquity. He says, shall the sudden, the sudden destruction We come unto that person. Let us listen to God because he is the one that knows what, you, what is good for you. He knew everything. What is good for you? What is not good for you? He will tell you. We let you know. Please, hearken unto him. He doesn't want you to cry on that day. Had I know, he doesn't want you to cry. He only want you the sudden, the sudden destruction to come unto you. He loves you so much. Turn away from your wicked way. Turn away from your sinful ways. Come to him. Surrender to him. Lord Jesus loves you. Lord Jesus loves you. Please come to him. Please come to him. Come to him. Surrender to him. He wants to save you. He wants to save your soul. Don't run away from him. Run to him and give him your life. It's, 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 not, God's, it's not God's way to, to, to destroy you. It's not God's way to destroy you. It's in, in his way is for you to come to repentance. His way for you to turn away from your sinful way. If you are lying, turn away from it. You are stealing, turn away from it. You are still fornicating, turn away from it. Oh, you are still watching pornography. Turn away from it. Ask God for forgiveness. Ask God to give you the grace to not to, to, to not to do, not to watch pornography anymore. He's here to deliver you. Because all those things are filthy things that stain your garment. Turn away from it. Turn away from it, beloved. You are still watching pornography in a masturbating in secret. You are doing it. And you think nobody sees you. And around you, nobody sees you. But God sees you. Jesus sees you. And the, and the holy angel sees you. They see you. Please turn away from it. Turn away from wicked ways. Please turn away. Don't continue this wicked way. Please don't continue it because it will not it will not do you good. It will not do you good. You murdering people in your heart, it will not do you good. You open your mouth flatly, flatly smile to people, but whereas in your heart you are you hate that person too much. You hate that person. Please turn away. Jesus don't want you to die with those things. Because when you die with those things, it will not make it will not, it will not help you. All those things will not help you. Please let us live a holy life. Let us live a holy life, righteous life. You said you are Christian, you are still drinking alcohol, you are still smoking, and you know you knew quite all right, smoking is not good for your health. You knew quite a lot alcohol is not good for your health, and you're still doing it. And God have had God have said to you, you have you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior. When you come to the house of God, you are not you are not drinking alcohol there. The house that is the, the beauty, the body of Christ gather. You respect the beauty. The beauty, you respect the beauty. You don't smoke there. You don't drink alcohol there. You respect it. The beauty. But you, that is the church. You, that is the church, you're supposed to respect more. You respect the beauty you are gathering. But in your house, in your body, you are putting cigarettes. You are putting smoke. You are putting the alcohol. You are the body of Christ. You are the church of God. We are the church. You respect the building. You don't do it in the building, but you do it in the house. You are destroying yourself. 
You are doing this in secret. The members of the church doesn't know you still smokes. The members of the church doesn't know that you still drinks. But you do it. But God sees you. The demons that sees you. Devil himself sees you. He's watching you. He's watching you. Please. Stop it. Jesus loves you. Repent. Please turn away from your wicked ways. Please repent. The, God, the word of the Lord says sudden destruction. Sudden destruction will not be your portion. Sudden destruction will not be my portion. It will not be our portion. Let us turn away from our wicked ways. If you want to see Jesus on that day, on, your last, on the last day of your life, if I want to see Jesus on the last day of my life, we have to live a holy life. We have to keep this body temple, temple of God holy. Inside must be holy. Outside must be holy. You said it's the heart that matters. You give him bribe. You take him bribe. Your heart is matter. You said your heart is the one that matters. But your heart, is it clean? Don't harden your heart towards your maker. Please, don't hide in your heart towards your maker. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Let us go to the book, praise Master Jesus. Let us go to the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah 42, verse 25. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. The book of Isaiah 42, verse 25, I read in Jesus' name. Therefore, he has then a powder upon him, the fury of his anger, and the strength of a battle, and it has set him on a fire round about, yet he never laid it not to heart. Praise Master Jesus. You see what is what is what you see what is going on around you. You know what is going on around you is not good. You know it's not good. Instead of you to turn away, he's warning. God is warning you what you are doing is not good. What you are doing is not good. The things that you are doing that is not right. God is warning you, it's not good, my son. It's not good, my daughter. Stop it. He's warning you. Stop it as you're hearing it. Stop wicked ways. Stop your sinful ways. Stop it. God loves you. Please stop it. Surrender to him. He cherishes you. Please stop it. Please stop it. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Destruction is not our portion. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Will not be your portion. Will not be my portion in that day in Jesus' name. It will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. So now you are not. Must live a holy life, a righteous life. It's for your good. It's for your good. God has everything. God has everything. He has how many millions? How many? How many angels? How many angels? Father like God has that that, that are worshiping Him. How many saints of God are gone to heaven? They have been there. Many saints of God are still here. Be one of them, genuine one. That we join him, that we join the, the holy angels and the sound the other center to worship our maker on that day. It's for your good to see your father, almighty God. It's for your good to see him that day and live with him. Not living with your enemy, not living where there is no light, not living where there is no darkness, no food, no drink, only torment. Her fire is torment. God wants the best for you. God wants the best for you. Turn away from your wicked way. Turn away from your wicked way. Please repent. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Praise Master Jesus. Let us go to the book of uh, Praise Master Jesus. The book of uh, Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1. So Proverbs chapter 1. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 1, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24. 
Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the name of God. I read in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. Because I have a cause and he refused. I have a stretch, stretch out of my hand and no man regarded. It will not be your passion, beloved. It should not be my passion, beloved. That God is calling you right now. You are hearing the word of the Lord. He's calling you. You don't regard what he's calling. You refuse to listen to him. To him. You refuse to, to turn away from your wicked way. You refuse to turn away from your sinful way. Please. Hear him. Hear him. Turn away from your wicked way. Turn away. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Please. Give your life to him. Totally give your life to him. It's for your good. You finish on this side. What you can just see is your father almighty God. Joy, joy, joy. Everlasting joy. From everlasting to everlasting. He's calling you. Don't refuse. Don't refuse your God. Don't, re don't, don't reject him. Because he, when you, he, you, you, you are doing evil thing to hurt him as your, as your Lord, you are setting as your Lord, your Savior, you are still doing evil, you are hurting him, you are hurting him. Please, turn away. He doesn't want to reject you on that day. It's not God's will, it's not Lord Jesus Christ's will to set depart from me. He doesn't want to reject you. Listen to him. Don't. Don't turn your back on him. Give your life to him. Fully give it to him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Please let us go to the praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's in the same way I'm still see reading. Praise Master Jesus. Proverbs chapter, Proverbs chapter, 20, Proverbs chapter 1. 24. I, I read the 24. From uh, to 33. Praise Master Jesus. I will read in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. Look what that, that is telling you. He loves you so much. He loves me so much. I start from that 24 again. He said, because I have called and ye refuse. I have a straightener out of my hand and a no man regard. But ye have a set as a not all my counsel. And the word and none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. Hmm. I will mock when I will mock when your fear comes. Beloved, it's not, it's not, you don't want God to laugh at you on that day when you're in a, in a trouble. When you're in a trouble, is that time you want to call him? He's telling you now, he's calling you now to hear him now. You don't want to hear him. Please hear him. As the word of the Lord is telling you, and I say on that day, if you don't, if you don't listen to him, you don't obey him. When he's calling you, he's giving you his word. You are not listening to his word. He said on that day, we come. The day you will be, you will need something. Something you will need, you will start crying, Father God, I need this, Father God has me. He said he will laugh at you. He said that day, he will laugh at you when you will start calling. Now he's calling you. Better you hear him. Better you hear him when you're in the trouble. Call upon him. He said I will be with you in trouble. But if you are not obeying him now, you are not hearing him now, you are not attending to his word right now. You don't regard his word. What do you think? On that day, he said, when he will call upon you, when he will be in trouble, you will say, call him, Father, deliver me. He said, he will laugh at you. It's not your, it's not your way for you to call upon Father God, then he start laughing at you. He start mocking at you. You have to change right now. I have to change right now. Let us live a holy life. Let us obey him. Let us depend on him. Let us not do our own way. Let us do the will of Almighty God. The will of Almighty God. Lord Jesus Christ came and did the will of the Lord. He, he, he has his own way. Lord Jesus has his own way. But he did the will of the Father Almighty. 
He didn't do his own way. He did the will of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We are still reading. Now verses 20, 20, 20, uh, 27. When did your fear commit as a destruction? And that's all it. And then your destruction commit as a white wind. When distress and the anguish commit upon you, then shall the day call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Praise Master Jesus. It's not your portion, beloved. It's not my portion that we will start seeking our Father, that we will start calling upon Him. That uh, even though we wake up early in the morning, sleep, we don't even sleep throughout the night. He said he will not even listen. It's time for you to seek him. In holiness and in righteousness. It's time for you and I to seek him, beloved. Not the time of anguish. We should not seek him the time of destruction. We should not seek him the time of anguish. We should not seek him the time of distress. We should not seek him in that time. Now, you have the peace. Seek him now. That you have everything complete right now. Seek him right now. Seek him right now. Surrender to him right now. On that day, when you will be, have anything. You asking him, Papa, deliver me. Immediately we say, my daughter, I'm here. Don't worry. He will, put, he will just take you. Put him down side. He will fight the battle for you. He will fight the battle for you. But if you are not making him, you are not putting him the first place in your life. You are not obeying him. And you are born again. You speak in tongues. You prophesy. You are prophetess. You are prophet. You are prophet. But you are disobeying God. Please don't say because God is using me. Don't say that if I prophesy, the prophecy will come to pass. If I tell somebody, so, 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 it will not make you to make heaven. It's not because you, the God will say, ah, Father God will say, because you prophesy so much. You prophesy so much. God said, does, does says the Lord. You prophesy so much. Many people, we are here. Many people, God, they are, they are, they are, they are breakthrough. Because of that, you will get to heaven. <laughs> oh, my God. God help all of us. God help you and I. It's not that way we get you and I to heaven. What we get you and I to heaven is to obey the word of the Lord. God says, heaven and earth shall pass away. But none of his word, none of his words shall pass away. His word remain from everlasting to everlasting. He will not change his word, not just because you prophesy. Not because you, you are doing good to, to people, but in your heart. You are not doing it with a perfect heart. Like the king that we, we spoke about, that we are still talking about, this man, he did what was right. He did what was right. But his heart was not with God. You are there, you are prophesying. You do doing what, what is right to prophesy. Eh? But your heart is in with God. Your heart is really with God. Oh, you are, your heart is bitter. It's full of evil. Please, please listen to God. He doesn't want you to labor in vain. He doesn't want you to labor in vain, beloved. Hearken unto his voice. Come unto him, please. Come unto him. Forgive, forsake your sin. Ask him to give you the grace to run away from sin. We are still reading. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Verse 20, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 28. I start from 28 right now. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Then shall the day call upon me, but I will not answer. 
They shall not save me only, but they shall not find me. For the that for the that they hate knowledge. Hey. For that they hate knowledge. They hate knowledge of God. They don't want anything to do with knowledge of God. They hate knowledge. For that they hate knowledge. We are still reading. And they did not choose the fear of the Lord. They hate the knowledge of God. They refuse to fear God. To fear Almighty God. Because that knowledge of God, as the word of the Lord said, the, 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 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Not that your prophecy is the beginning of wisdom. Your prophesy is not the beginning of wisdom. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the word of the Lord, the wisdom, the fear. You prophesy, you fear for prophesying with the fear of God. Are you doing what you are doing with the fear of God, in the reverence of God? Praise Master Jesus, we are still reading verse 13. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall, therefore shall they, they eat of their fruit of their own way. And be fed with their own devices. For the dead turning away of the simple shall slay them. Hmm. And the dead, the prosperity of the fools shall the water destroy them. The prosperity of the fools shall destroy them. The word of the Lord is saying it. The prosperity of the fools shall destroy them. Hmm. God have mercy. God have mercy. But the whoso, whoso how can I unto me shall I do a safety? Hallelujah. And I shall I be in a quiet for all fear of evil. When you fear the Lord, look at what the Lord is saying in his word. That when you are not fear the Lord, we shall do what? Safety. We shall fear no evil. Even the evil the son is doing it, it happening around your environment. You have the fear, you have the peace of the Lord. You fear no evil because because you stand at the word of the Lord. You hacking onto the word of the Lord. When he said, do this my daughter, do this my son, you are following him. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Let us Beloved, let us hack in onto the word of the Lord. Let us put it in practice. I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me. Because me and you, we are still on this earth, we are still, we are still, we are still on this earth, we are still running the race together. Let us hack in onto the word of the Lord. Let us listen to him. Let us follow him right now. As you now, you are now with God the opportunity. We there's still there. You are now, we still have hope. That we can cry for mercy, that we can turn from our wicked way. We said that then sin, I don't want you anymore. Sin, I reject you, set and reject everything that you stand on. I renounce you, renounce everything that belongs to you. And follow Jesus. On that day, hey, what a joy. What a joy to see your master, Jesus. That he will lift you up. He said, My daughter, my son, you made it. You have to listen to him. Let us practice it now. Please don't play with your Christian's life. Please don't play with your Christian life. It's only one of the day. You will close your eye in death. If you play, if you play with your Christian life, you will be terrible, everlasting terrible. It will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. Let us hack in onto his voice. We should not hide in our heart. We should not hide in our heart. Let us turn away from our wicked ways. Don't say, once say, forever say. Don't say, you don't have to change. You just have to ask God to forgive you. All these sins that you are sinning. You can just sin anyhow. Once say, forever say. Please don't say so. 
Strive to enter. Strive to enter the straight gate, beloved. Strive to enter. Jesus loves you. Strive to enter the straight gate. Praise Master Jesus. Strive to enter the straight gate. May the Lord bless you. Amen. So, praise Master Jesus. Let us go to the book of Revelation chapter 9, verse 10, verse 20 to 21. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, verse 20 to... Revelation chapter 9. Hallelujah. Verse 20 to 29. Mm -hmm. God is good all the time. Master Jesus is good all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us read the word of the Lord. <laughs> I read in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 9, verse 20, 20 and then 21. I read in Jesus' name. And then the rest of the men, which were not a kid by this uh, place, yet uh, repented not of the work of the works of uh, their hands. That a day should not worship the devils and the idols of a gold and a silver and a brass and a stone and of a wood which a neither can see, not a hear, nor the work. Neither repent a day of a dead murderers, none of their sorcerers, none of a, of their fornication. None of uh, their thieves. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise Master Jesus. Jesus Christ loves you. As the word of the Lord says here, that these people, the rest that was not killed, the rest that was not killed, but it is surrendered, they had in their heart. They still had in their heart. They didn't repent. They didn't ask God to forgive them. They still had in their heart. They still hold, they still held onto their onto their work, the works of their hands that cannot save them. Which work of your hands are you holding on that cannot save you? Which which of the idols you are holding on to? The idols that cannot save you. He has not, he cannot speak. He has I cannot see. He cannot save you. Has and he cannot use it. He cannot save you. Why can't you surrender to Jesus? Why can't you surrender to Jesus? Why can't you give up? Can't you give up worshiping devils? Stop worshiping devils. Anything that you are doing that is not of God is devil. You are worshiping the devil. Worship your maker, Jesus. Jesus Christ, worship him. Give all those gold, all the, all those gold and the silver you are packing on your body. They are idols of the hidden. Give them up. But God said, don't put it on your body. Don't put it on your body. God and silver, all those spoils, all those spoils, all those beads. Pack them out of your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Don't, dis, don't defy your body. Take them out. Take them out. God loves you. God told the, the God told the J Jacob, if you want me to go with you, you must tell your people to strip everything that, that doesn't belong to me. They should take it out. The children of, uh, the, the, uh, in, uh, of Jacob, one the, the first thing they were bringing is earring. You said it's not idol. Why? If it is not that God will not say they should take those things out of their body. Before he will go with them, before he can fix them, stand, see them, they have to take up those evil, evil, all those gods out of their lives. They have to drop them. Please. God and silver is idol to God. Packing it on your body is an abomination. God said don't put it on your body. Don't do it. Please, now you are hearing the word of the Lord. You are hearing. Please hearken unto the word of the Lord. Hearken unto him. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. You see? 
They bow down to wolves. They bow down to sons. They bow down to anything. Except on their maker. They don't bow down to, you see? The one that will save their soul. They don't bother to. The one that has the power to kill and to, 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 to live a life, give life, they don't bother to. Bow down to Jesus Christ. Surrender to him. If you are there, you, if you are there, you are murdering people in your heart, please stop it. You are killing in your heart, but nobody sees your heart. Jesus sees your heart. Plenty evil to destroy somebody else. All you can plan is to evil, to kill somebody else. To do evil to somebody. For somebody not to become what God wants them to become on this earth. You want to stop their destiny. You want to show their, their, their glory. You want to stop their destiny. Not to share. Are you their maker? You will pay for it if you don't repent. You will pay for it. Anyone that you have bound, anyone that you are loved with your palock, with your witchcraft palock, release them. Let them go free. Let the children of God go free. If you are sorceress, tell God to deliver you from a wind, but the sorceress uh, uh, spirit. If you are a witch, we are wizards, tell God to deliver you because you will not make heaven with your sorceress uh, spirit. You will not make heaven. If you are a witch, if you are a wizard, sorceress, you will not make heaven. It's this written the word of the Lord. You will not make heaven. You eating people at night. You drinking people's blood at night. You think you will go to where do you want to go? If you don't repent, you will go and spend eternity with your with your with your with your with your with your, with your, with your, with your, with your, with your father, the devil, your father. You better renounce the devil. You better renounce the devil and get out of that witch class. It will not do you good because you don't know the day you will die. You don't know the day you will die. Leave witch class. Leave witch class and surrender to Jesus. Because on that day, it will be too tough for you. If you don't surrender to Jesus on that day, it will be too so tough for you. Where you will go? It's a fire. It's very, very plain. The better you stop, better you renounce. Tell God to deliver you from witchcraft. God is able to do it. God is able to snatch you out of that group of witchcraft. Of that sorcery. Get out of it in Jesus' name. It's not going to do you good. What are you getting there? You are following them. What have you got, what have you got out there? Dirtiness. In data, you are suffering. You are eating dust. You are the, the witch, the witch cast, the wizard, the witching dust. And you think you are using, you are, you are taking children of God in their life. You bringing them is in a subjection. To obey you. To do what they don't want to do. You, you, you manipulating them. You better change. You better change. Change your ways. Jesus don't want you to die your wish in the, in the, with your wish. He don't want you to die the, the, die with being a witch, you being a wizard. He don't want you to die in that way. He wants you to be saved. He wants to save you. He loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. Peter. Please give your life to, to, to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus. He will set you free. Who the Son of God set free is free. In here you can see the word of the Lord. Neither repent a day of a day of mudras, none of their sorceries, none of their fornication, none of a day of thieves. If you are robbers, please stop it. Tell God to deliver you. Tell God to bless you with good job. Surrender to Jesus. God will bless you. He will make a way for you to have a good job. God will help you. Don't doubt God. Don't believe God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You are fornicating. You are thieves. Please stop it. Jesus loves you. I don't know you. Praise Master Jesus. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Let us go to the book of Revelation chapter 3. Book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 
chapter 3, verse 19. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. As many as I love, I rebuke and I chasten. Be serious, therefore, and repent. As many as I love, Jesus loves you. It's because of that he's rebuking you this hour, this moment right now, for you to listen to him because he doesn't want you to, to be destroyed. He said, as many as he loves, he's rebuking. As many as he loves, he rebuke. Repent. Let us repent, beloved. Let us turn away from our wicked ways. It is, beloved, it is all out, it, it is all out of a good of your soul. Jesus loves you. He loves you. Those who he loves, he rebuke and discipline. He loves you because of that is disciplining you for you to turn away from your wicked way. He don't want on that day you start crying. Father, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, help me. And it's too late. It will not be your portion. It will not be my portion in Jesus' name. Beloved, if 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 the Lord, if the Lord Jesus Christ had uh, not uh, been a law, if it is not by the love of Jesus Christ, if the Lord Jesus Christ had not been a lover of your soul, if if Lord Jesus Christ had not been a lover of your soul, a lover of my soul, he will not, he will not, he will not correct us. He will not correct you. He will not tell you to turn away from your sinful way. Because he loves you so much. He loves your soul. He loves you. He created you from his own image. Your soul and my soul. He created us from his own image. He would have let you alone. He would have let you alone. And let me alone. Had he been did in love us. Because of the love, he's rebuking you. He disciplined us for us to sit right. For you and I to sit right, to go on the on the in the sin, and it be not the love that He loved us so much. To go on the in the sin, see it had been your own. It it could have been because God knows sin is a run. It will run your life. It will run my life. Sin, it's because of that I don't want us to be run by sin. He's telling you to repent. He's telling me to repent. Let us repent. Let us turn away from our wicked ways. Please. Beloved, better. Praise Master Jesus. Better, beloved. Better. Better, de better beloved. De better, de 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 better are there the wounds of a friend. Beloved, better the wounds of a friend. That will tell you, my friend, you did this, this, this is all right, this is all right. And you see that it's all right. Better. Even though that word will hurt you. Even though that word, you cannot stand that word. But it's, it's the word of truth. You take it, you accept it. It's better than the, the flattering of smile of an enemy. The flattering of smile of an enemy. The enemy that hates you, they will start smiling at you. Flattery. But they hate you. The enemy hates you. You have to hate them back. And love your Lord Jesus. Surround to Jesus. Because of the love, he, he loves you. He's correcting you. He's correcting me. He's disciplining you. Discipline me. Because of the love he has for you and I. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is the word of the Lord. God has given it to me today. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. It is my prayer. God will give us the grace to listen to him. God will give us the grace to, to, to run to him. Not to run away from him. Not to do our own will, but the will of the Lord Almighty. In Jesus' name, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. If you are out there, you don't have Jesus. You don't even have Jesus as your Lord, as your Savior. You have not accept him as your Lord, your Savior. Please, can you, can you accept him as your Lord, your Savior? Please. Jesus loves you. Jesus dies for you. 
Jesus Christ loves you. He dies for you, rose up for you. He wants you to spend eternity with him. Please give your life to Jesus. Don't turn this offer away. Don't reject this offer. Please give your life to him. He loves you. He loves you dearly. Please. Jesus loves you. Give your life to him. He's here to accept you as his child, as his son, as his daughter. Please give your life to him because you don't know the day God will call you. Please accept him as your Lord, your Savior. Please pray this prayer after me in Jesus' name. Dear God, I am a sinner and I need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shared his precious love for me. And I die for my sin. I, I am willing to turn from sin. I now invited Jesus Christ to come into my heart as my personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank God for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God you are welcome to the family of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Please look for a Bible church and then go to and go look for a Bible church and a Bible, Bible, Holy Bible. Be reading the word of the Lord. You will grow in grace by the grace of God. All of us are growing grace in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Virtual Sume Worldwide, may the Lord bless you all. I love you all with the love of God. Oh, Virtual Sume Worldwide, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord loves you so much. The Lord loves you so much. Thank you for what you are doing for the Lord. No more grace, more grace. God will reward you. You will not live by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please, just may walk away wherever you are. Please, we should not be tired. We should go out there. Let us evangelize Jesus to our brothers and sisters out there. Please, uh, beloved, let us speak to them. Let us say that Jesus loves them. Please, let us say them. Let us say them because we don't know the day God is coming, the day Lord Jesus Christ is coming. We have to be prepared. We have to let us win so that I, I, as many as we can able to win for Jesus, let us do it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you so much and Jesus depends on you. The Lord and uh, virtuous men worldwide in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. Please give it, give the word of the Lord to the children of God. Tell them if they are arguing, give them the word, tell them. This is in the Bible. Go to the word of the Lord and read it for yourself. Give them the word of the Lord. In Psalms 125, in 35 verse 50, about the jewelries, about the gold and the silver. Give them the word of the Lord concerning the gold and the silver. So in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 25 to 26, about the gold and the silver. So in the in the in, the, in, the, in the Isaiah chapter, praise Master Jesus. In Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 30, 31 verse seven. Isaiah chapter thirty verse thirty. Praise Master Jesus. Thirty and twenty two. Write it, give it to them in the name of your God. We give them the grace to read it in Jesus' name. The word of the Lord, he give them the word of the Lord concerning women dressing, uh, dressing, dre, dre, uh putting on trousers. As God said, which women should not wear what pertain to man. Then give them the word of the Lord. If you are telling that they are argue, don't argue, give them the word, let them go and read it for themselves. God will help them out in Jesus' name. In the Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Yeah, they read it for themselves. If you are telling them about make they should not make us, you not not just paint all these things. They should not bleach their skin, all these things. They are lying. They are lying when they are putting on their wig, putting on their attachment, they're dyeing their hair, perming their hair, coloring their hair. They are lying. That is not the color of what God blessed them with. That they are defying the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Give them the word of the Lord about the penty, about the penty. Give them the word of the Lord. In Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30. Mm -hmm. Second Kings chapter 9, verse, verse, uh, verse 30. Isaiah, Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 40. Give them to the word of the Lord. Give them the Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. All liars shall have their, their part in lake of fire, which a bond, in, in lake which a bond. 
with fire, with, with fire and bristle. It will not be their portion. It will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. The born in the bristle in the name of Jesus Christ. We are the children of God. Please let us tell them. They also let us smash as many as we can able to snap before Lord Jesus Christ comes in Jesus. And may the Lord give you more grace, more grace, more grace unto your virtues and worldwide, wherever you are hearing the, the sound of my voice. I love you all with the love of God. May the Lord bless you. Remember, bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.